Hi everyone, in this video, I will demonstrate how to control an industrial fan with VT SCADA and the eByte ROTU IO model. An overview of the eByte ROTU IO model was done in the video at the top right of your screen. The industrial fan motor starting and stopping is done through a 220V AC contactor connected to the digital output terminal D01 of the ROTU model. The auxiliary contact of the contactor is connected to the digital input terminal DI1 and COM of the model. A 0 to 100 degrees Celsius temperature transmitter is connected to analog input AI1 of the model powered by the same 24 volts DC supply as the model. Finally, the industrial USB to RS485 converter terminals A and B are connected to those of the ROTU model. Connect the USB converter model to the USB port of your computer and open the eByte I.O. configuration tool. Select the English language, the port to which the converter is connected the default baud rate of 9600. Open the serial port and search for the connected device. Stop the search when the device appears here. Note the default mode bus address, which is 32 in my case, and exit the two. Open VT SCADA and create a new application. Click on the tag browser icon at the top right of the application. Create a new serial port. I will name it COM3 after the port number the USB converter is connected to with the same baud rate as the model. Right click on the newly created COM3 and select New Child. Click on Drivers and then Modbus Compatible Device. I will name it ROTU model. Select the serial ROTU and then Impute the ROTU model default address here. Right click on the ROTU model driver and select New Child to create a digital output tag for D01. Specify the read and write address of 1 following the Modbus mapping specification. Create a new digital input tag for DI1 with the read address of 10001 and an analog input tag for AI1 with a read address of 30001. In the scaling tab, impute the unscaled process data max of 4095, which corresponds to the 12-bit resolution of the Modbus analog input. Right-click on the AI1 tag to draw a gauge widget in the Idea Studio. Draw an animated fan for the DI1 tag. Then a green and a red button switch for the DO1 tag. Delete all other items from the Idea Studio and rearrange the widgets. Double click on the green button switch. Impute 1 as a value to write and uncheck the confirmation dialog. Impute 0 as a value to write for the red button switch and uncheck the confirmation dialog. Add a rounded rectangle to decorate the display. Then exit the Idea Studio and click on Overview. Observe the temperature display on the gauge. When the green button switch is clicked on, the contactor should start the industrial fan as indicated by the fan animation on the SCADA. The red button switch should stop the fan. That is all for today and thanks for watching. Please show your support for this channel by clicking on the like and thanks buttons. Click on the subscribe button if you are yet to and share your thoughts in the comment section. Bye for now.